Hello friends, it's Kylie with you all again and today I've got a fun layout to share with you all. Um, I'm going to be scrapbooking more of my stash. So if you caught my video a few weeks ago, you would have seen me working with the Vivid Melodies collection from Creative Memories. And I've created another page today using more of those papers to use up my stash. Now, a few weeks ago, I was searching the Creative Memories blog, which is a fantastic place to find some inspiration. And I came across a beautiful layout that I thought would be perfect for today's design. Now, I just want to give a shout out to Melissa Ullman, the Creative Chatterbox, because this layout is indeed her original design that she created for the blog. There is a team of fantastic designers that create wonderful inspiration for us all on the blog. And this was Melissa's original design. I am going to link the original blog post below this video. So if you'd like to check out Melissa's instructions and her layout, you can. So I've used her layout as inspiration. I've changed a few things around to suit, but overall I was really happy with how my page turned out. And I thought that I'd share with you all how I created it. So let's get started. To begin with, I've taken a sheet of white cardstock and I'm going to trim this down a little to be 10 inches by 10 inches. Now those strips that I'm trimming away, certainly don't throw those away. These would be great on any other projects that you've got going on, whether it's borders or scrapbooking layouts, so there's no need to waste those. And I'm going to layer this square over a sheet of the cranberry cardstock. I love this colour and I think it works really well with uh, the pink theme of the Vivid Melodies. So I'm just lining it up square on my cutting mat and that way I can use the measurements to ensure that my white square is centred. Now by all means you can remove the centre of the cranberry cardstock first if you'd like to conserve your cardstock. Uh, however today I haven't, I'm going to layer both together. And I'm using my regular adhesive tape runner. Normally I will work with my repositionable tape. You all know how much uh, I love my repo tape. But I thought for today's layout, since I'm layering two thick, good quality sheets of cardstock, that I would work with my regular adhesive tape runner. And that way I know it's going to hold really well. Next I'm going to bring in what I've got left over in my Vivid Melodies paper in the pink. You can see I don't have a lot left. Um, I just love these colours so much. So I really want to make sure that I use up what I have left. I'm going to trim two strips from this floral paper. Now they're going to be one inch wide. And this paper is a 12 inches in length once I've trimmed these strips. So I need to cut it down just a little bit. And to do so, I'm going to layer both strips together. And since I want to see the floral design on my layout, I've put those two sides together. So floral sides together. And I'm going to cut the length down to be 10 inches long. So I'm just removing a little two inch strip there. Next, I'm going to line it up to the 45 degree line on the trimmer board and make sure that I've got the corner of that strip. I'll just show you. The top corner of that strip is aligned to the cutting line and then the edge of the strip is lined up to the 45 degree marking that you'll find on the top of your trimmer board. So I'll line that up and I'm just going to trim through and take off that little corner at a 45 degree angle and I'm just going to flip this over now making sure that both strips stay lined up together and I'm going to remove the corner off the top of that strip. Now you'll notice that I've made sure that I've got one long edge of that strip that is longer and the top is actually shorter so you've got to make sure that you cut the same corners um, on your strips when you turn them over. I've swapped back to my repositional tape just in case I need to lift anything away but I'm just going to start by wrapping these strips around the bottom right hand corner of my layout and because the trimmer board with that 45 degree marking just cuts these so accurately you can see that that just fits perfectly and wraps around that corner. I really loved 
uh, the check pattern on the back of the floral so I decided to cut a few more strips from the same paper only this time we'll see uh, the check pattern so again they are both one inch wide and because the paper was 12 inches in length we need to cut these down but this time we're going to cut it down to 8 inches long so when we're cutting each uh, row of strips for this page design I'm cutting it down by 2 inch increments and then I'm just going to line up those strips again making sure the right sides that I want to see are face together cutting two strips at the one time and just removing those corners at the 45 degree mark and you can see there one side is longer than the other and that's to ensure that we get a nice solid frame happening around that bottom corner of our page and if you've cut them nice and neatly and accurately you're going to find that they will just continue to stack on top of each other really really neatly and it's kind of going to look as though we've actually just cut some squares of paper in half and laid them over the top of each other which as we all know would certainly use a lot of paper to do uh, but this technique you can see we're only just using some very narrow strips of paper to achieve the same effect now I really love this uh, floral paper and I only needed the length to be six inches long so I've cut two strips at one inch wide and then I'm cutting them down to six inches long and just the exact same technique putting right sides together and removing those corner strips through the 45 degree mark and I just find it quicker to layer the strips together and you're not going to be wearing your blade and cutting strip down as much on the trimmer board I certainly use my trimmer board so much so I do try to look after my blade and the cutting strip as much as I can this will be pretty much the last thin strip that I cut for this page um, I found that I didn't want to sort of keep going with the smaller size strips and I actually in the end just cut a square that I can cut in half to add to the center which we'll see in a moment but for now I just kept layering these strips around as you can see and I decided for this final triangle that I really, really wanted to use my bubblegum pink paper. I just wanted to measure with my little ruler to make sure I was going okay there with my sizing. But I'm going to cut this little strip down to a 4 inch by 4 inch square. And then I'm going to cut that square in half by just aligning the diagonal corners onto the cutting strip. And that gets us a perfect triangle and it will fit neatly right in the middle of those strips and you can see there those colors just really pop especially having the white background I decided that the white cardstock would look better since these patterns are so bold and the colors are really vivid I decided though that I did want to break up the white space just a little bit I thought it was just a little plain so I've gone back to this beautiful floral print paper and I'm just trimming two very thin strips I think these were both around a quarter of an inch wide so they certainly weren't very wide at all and because we know we've cut the white cardstock down to 10 inches by 10 inches I knew I had to cut the length of these strips down to 10 inches long as well so it's just removing just that little bit and I thought by just layering these around the outside edge just so you can see a few millimeters um, of that white showing the other side I just thought that that added a really nice little border and it just helped to balance the color out um, I just thought it was just too stark and too open to have left that plain uh, it depends I guess on what color paper you're using for your background you might have preferred to use a soft pink or maybe you know a, a more delicate pattern designer paper but since I was working with my cardstock supply I just felt that it needed that little bit extra and it's all about having a nice balance 
and since the floral was the first strip we added I thought that it fitted in really nicely. I've allowed for two photos for this layout because with all of the hard work we've done you know adding our little strips around the corner I didn't want to cover everything up so I've got a 6x4 photo mat and I'm cutting a 4x4 photo mat which will mean the photo will be 5.75 by 3.75 and 3.75 by 3.75 can you believe I have not used the border stickers from my Vivid Melodies? I couldn't believe it either. I was just sitting in my stash. I decided I really wanted to work with this um, circular type pattern and I'm just going to measure the inside of it to see what size the circle was and it turns out that it's the same size as the punch out from the circle chain BMC. So I had a little idea that I could add a pop of colour to the centre of that circular pattern and I thought I'd create a little border to run across the base of the page. So I'm just trimming some pink cardstock there. It is one inch wide and I'm going to trim it down to 10 inches long. And I decided to cut from that white cardstock that we cut away before. I'm just switching out my straight blade for my scallop blade and I'm going to trim just a fairly thin strip to be three quarters of an inch wide by 10 inches long and I'm just flipping the paper over so that I make sure I've got the nice rounded scalloped edge on both sides of that strip and it's going to be layered over the top of the pink. I'm just making sure I'm changing my blades because I always forget and then you go and make a cut and you'll have the wrong blade in. So I've just switched back to the straight blade and this is where I'm just trimming those strips down to make sure they are the 10 inch long measurement that we need to fit across our page neatly. And since there's so much pink in this page I decided it might be nice to add an alternate colour. So I layered these together and I'm going to add that circular border sticker centred onto the white cardstock which I've just peeled away and just so that we've got a neat finish on either end I've sort of centred it on that strip and I'll be cutting away the overhang. It's just the smallest amount but it's just to make sure that the edge of the border had that um, even neat finish on both sides. And at this point I decided, you know what, let's bring out the green from the Vivid Melodies. I really liked uh, the softer green and I've trimmed a strip to be 1.25 inches wide. So it's just slightly wider than the pink and it's going to be 10 inches long as well. I've just aligned that border to the center and I'm going to cut away the excess again it's only that small amount and I've added my green paper to my border maker system and I'm using the circle chain BMC border maker cartridge to punch a strip away now the border that you punch away save that for another project but we're actually interested in all the little scraps so all those little circular punch outs they fit perfectly on the inside of this border and I find that a lot with creative memories um, so many of the designs are just made to fit with a lot of the tools we have I'm just using my precision glue pen to add just the smallest amount of glue and I'm just going to take my time and just add the green in between that border sticker and I really like the different layers of colour and just having that little hint of a secondary tone that I can add to my page. Once I'd gone along and I'd finished that border just with my repositional tape I'm adding it across the base of my paper the base of my page and you can see there that I didn't want to cover up an entire strip so I've actually made sure that it's centered over two strips and then I'm going to just tuck my photo mats in just that little bit um, in behind the border strip and with those in place really what 
there was left to do was mostly just add my embellishments. I made sure the photos were sort of more in the white portion and I was really happy with how that turned out in the end. I think it's a really fun layout. I hope you've enjoyed watching too.